Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to get started with our last body system, the nervous system, um, and our interactions of body systems unit. The nervous system is very important. It does many, many jobs for you every single day, mostly without you even knowing it. Um, its main organ is the brain, as you can see pictured here. And we have two components to the nervous system. We have our central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord. Kind of your spinal cord serves as mostly the highway for information to be taken from your nerves to your brain. Um, and then you also have all of these nerves attached to your spinal cord, which tell you, uh, you know, what's going on uh, via your five senses, touch, sight, taste, smell, and hearing. Um, so information travels up your uh, nerves to your spinal cord where it takes that highway to your brain. Your brain decides what to do with it, makes a decision, and then sends that information back down um, your spinal cord to whatever nerve needs to make a decision. For example, if you were to touch a hot stove with this part of your hand, uh, your, your nerves would send a signal to your spinal cord that says, uh, we need to tell the brain that this is hot. The brain would then decide, yes, this is hot. That's dangerous. We need to pull that arm away. The signal would be sent back down to the arm to pull the arm away via this big highway called the spinal cord. But what does our brain do? Well, the first thing that our brain uh, is used for is a massive storage system. It translates, interprets, and stores memory. Um, it makes connections and filters out information. Sensory receptors respond to stimuli by sending messages to the brain for immediate behavioral response or storage as a memory. So you can either store something as a memory or respond to it. Um, so you may smell the scent of a perfu perfume and immediately be reminded of someone you love, maybe your grandmother, your best friend. That's a sensory memory. You may feel really hot and sweaty on a summer day and think about how you lost your important baseball game one day on a hot and sweaty day in August. That's a sensory memory, a feeling attached to, like a, a physical feeling attached to a memory. We compare your brain to a computer. Uh, your brain's uh, is your body's processor full of input that's fed into its environment, uh, fed into information is fed into it by the environment around it. That information is carried through a network of over a hundred billion neurons. Neurons are another name for nerves um, that are wired throughout your body. Whenever you use one of your senses, taste, touch, sight, smell, or hearing, an electric, electric or chemical signal uh, or impulse is sent to your brain, which interprets and responds to that like I was talking about with the example from the hot stove. Sensory memory is also like a bus station with the brain as a main hub throughout which all roads pass. Our nervous system is like a network of roads that come in and go out of the hub. The brain itself is a network of roads that direct the traffic to their appropriate connections. Um, and so what that looks like when your brain is taking in information, this diagram is really helpful in understanding that here. We have taste, sight, sound, smell, and touch. All of that information is taken in and then it's put into your sensory memory using those receptors or neuron. If it's not transferred into your sensory memory, it is forgotten. And, and that's why that arrow is pointing out. Um, if it is taken into your sensory information, for example, one example of this would be uh, maybe some of you heard the heater when you came into the room this morning. Uh, your brain would take that information in, deem it unimportant, and then, and then filter it out. Um, but if you uh, walked into the room and maybe you saw a fire, your brain would take that information and say, yeah, that's really important. I need to do something with it. And then it would send it to your brain for processing. Um, and maybe your brain would decide to tell your arm to pull the fire alarm. So your, your brain would need to process that important information. Um, so you have uh, receptors all over, your all over your body. Some of them are called ventricular receptors. They regulate your heartbeat. You have oral receptors in your mouth that help you enjoy the taste of things, maybe your favorite food. Um, and they also influence your speech, 